pickup tube priming. When installing new tubing or changing nutrients on the doser, we will need to prime the pickup tube. When needing to prime an entire rack, we can do this process with all dosers, which will save time and water. First, start by making sure that the weighted pickup screen is fully submerged in the nutrient solution. With the system depressurized, loosen the upper locking ring and adjust the ejection rate to the max setting on the stem. Doing this will make the priming process much faster. Make sure not to adjust the stem beyond the maximum injection range or the internal plunger can pull out of the stem and deform beyond repair. Put the bypass lever to the on position and open the drain valve on your monitoring loop. If your pump needs to be powered on, do this now. Set your start valve to the open position and water should start flowing through the dosers with the infamous click clack sound we all love. At this point, you will start to notice nutrient solution flowing up the tubing. Once the nutrient solution has reached the stem, you can turn the bypass lever to the off position to avoid wasting the nutrient solution. When priming an entire rack, continue this process while watching each of the pickup tubes for the nutrient solution to reach the stem and then turn the bypass levers off one by one. If the nutrient solution is not moving up the tubing, there could be a leak in the connection between the stem and the tubing or the check valve may not have a proper seal. Once all the pickup tubes have been primed, set the start valve to the off position and the water should stop flowing. You can leave the drain valve on the monitoring loop in the open position for the time being.